All right, good morning. Everybody sleep all right? All those dreams of Japanese warblers in our minds and hearts. Makes me want to go to Kyoto. Many of you heard this before, but there are some newcomers, so bear with me. Um, you perhaps heard that Gladdening Light adopted its name from the 4th century prayer that many consider the first hymn in Christendom, the Phos Hilaron, sung to usher in the service of Vespers. The Phos Hilaron is chanted in the twilight of night and day. O oh, gladsome light, illuminate our hearts and minds and protect us this night in a divine entreaty of remembrance and safekeeping. Phos is, of course, the ancient Greek word for light, and hilaron is the root word for hilarity or gladness. To put it simply, gladdening light is about that meeting point, the nexus of art and spirit in a liminal space. Rudolf Otto's Mysterium Tremendum from his idea of the holy as an example, a place to ponder awe and beauty. Now, I have some news. We'll do this again in 2021. So mark your calendars, February 4th through the 7th. That's a Thursday through Sunday, February 4th through 7th, 2021. Now, some of you think maybe, what's he doing with this woman's scarf on? Who's lost a scarf? I liked it. I mean, I thought it. <laughs> I, I well, it's a little pretentious, flamboyant. Um, not for you. <laughs> now, a, a few words about lunch. For those of you who purchased lunch, you have a ticket or should have one. If you purchase lunch and don't have a ticket, please come see me or Pat. Um, it will start about 11.45 as soon as we adjourn from here. And if you just go out to the main road and go past the entry point from, um, you know, the, the main boulevard into campus, and it's in the Rice Family Pavilion, it's on your left, and we'll have volunteers out there. There's a nice rotunda that you'll notice that's a kind of a distinct architectural piece. But it's, it's an easy stroll down there to your left, and we'll see you at lunch. Now, I want to um, pay tribute to some people who work very hard all year round for Gladdening Light, and particularly at this symposium. Our board of trustees, Perry Nice, Perry, if you'd stand. Lisa Brutel Grant. Is Lisa here? She may be helping out out back. Um, Elaine Johnson from Dothan. <laughs> Elaine brings an army from Dothan every year. Uh, we love it. Kirk Squires and our treasurer, Dave Holland. And then a member of our national council. We have a national council of advisors that sort of oversee our work. And Barbara Brown Taylor is a member of that. So thank you, Barbara. And where would we be without all of these kind people volunteering? And they are truly volunteering in the spirit of that. Sarah Powell, Eve Chamberlain, Patty and Steve Shaney, Harry Coverston, Rich Wilson, Joe Sinclair, Linda Goddard, Linda Segalis, Shannon and Bill Gridley, and Shannon Adams. And yes... And if you've enjoyed the real flowers and plant material, that's courtesy of Sally Spencer from New Smyrna Beach. How many of you participated in the uh, group discussions yesterday? Okay, good. Our facilitators there are Leslie Laws, 
Jean Raffa and Molly Losey. Now, let's bring out the three musketeers. Good morning. <laughs> um, it's like we never left, isn't it? <laughs> this morning, we'd like to offer you a very beautiful and ancient blessing from Ireland. This is called St. Patrick's Breastplate. And it was a prayer written by St. Patrick himself. We have two pieces of writing from St. Patrick. And this is a blessing, and it is very much based on an older pagan um, Celtic tradition of blessing, a blessing calling in um, uh, protection from the directions. So this is Chris Lom, Chris Rome, Chris Miyig, Chris Os Mechionsa. Christ be with me, Christ be, be, be around me, be in front of me, be behind me, to my left and to my right, in the eyes of all who see me, in the tongue of all who speak to me. So, thank you. Please 